Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. If you have seen any of the Ice Age movies, then you are familiar with the art of Long Islander Peter Desev, whose work is on view at Farmingdale State College's Memorial Gallery. And coming home has brought back some childhood memories. I bumped into a science teacher of mine. He has a drawing of mine that he confiscated from me in class. I did that 40 years ago. So I was always drawing. I was drawing all the time. All the stuff in my portfolio was probably drawn in a notebook. Peter has agreed to speak to students at Farmingdale State College because he remembers how impactful it was for him to hear from legendary illustrator Murray Tinkleman as a teen. Just thinking about that one presentation, how much of an effect it really had on my life, how it sort of like just kind of aligned my compass and I went in that direction and everything else followed from that. And so when I came to speak today, today here at Farmingdale, but also at Great Neck South, I was thinking, you know, if there's just one student in the audience that gets something from this that maybe just changes their compass heading ever so slightly, then karmically, I'm good. Peter is a traditional artist, never drew on a computer, and when presented with the opportunity to work on a 3D animated project, he viewed it as just another creative challenge. You know, I might have thought, well, I can't work in animation. I'm not an animator. I wasn't, but I took the leap, and I, and I realized, you know, everybody starts cold. You know, everybody starts not knowing everything. And I learned that you, uh, you have to take opportunities as they as they come to you and, and, and do your best with them. The packed auditorium was surprised when Peter disclosed that in elementary school he failed a test for colorblindness. And when I finished it the woman said well you know you, something to the effect of you're colorblind and you know you'll never be an airline pilot um, but you know apart from that everything should be fine and I'm thinking I really wanted to be an airline pilot. Because of his color blindness, much of his early work is in black and white. It was kind of a slow process for me to, to get comfortable with color and to feel brave enough with it. A couple of things really helped. My wife has a great color sense and she would stand over my shoulder and got me through a lot of really painful nights. I learned to arrange my palette in a specific way. So I knew where, all, where the browns were living versus the greens, which are the ones I could confuse. You you know, I'm not going to make that terrible mistake of having somebody with, with green cheeks, which, which I've done. Although he was completely surrounded by autograph seekers and fans getting selfies, Peter was still able to appreciate the quality of the art exhibition. This is really the nicest one-man show I've ever had. The decisions they made in terms of what is hung next to what is great. I'm very proud of the show. Give credit to gallery director Philip Simone, whose goal is to demonstrate the creative process. I've always asked for things like the sketches that you see. So it's not just about the finished illustration. It allows students to get that, that sense that it's a lot of stages before you get to putting watercolor and ink down on the finish. So we, we went through the work and picked out ones that had that, you know, that, that reference that he can give us. If you can get kids to understand that, it's great because a student will give you one drawing. Here's my one piece, what do you think? And sometimes when I ask the students, what do you think? They say, well, I think it's okay. And really, okay shouldn't be a standard. With all the magazine covers and feature films under his belt, for Peter, giving a character life never gets old. It never gets old. It's incredibly exciting to see something that started as a doodle become something that you actually relate to. Right now, I'm developing two projects for Blue Sky. It's the same place that did Ice Age. And these are projects that are based on ideas of my own that I'm working with, uh, with writers on and hoping they will be made into feature films. <laughs> 